In this section, we're going to continue to talk about primitives, and I'm going to touch on the cone shape, or the cone primitive shape. Pull up our solids menu again here. As you can see, we have the cone tool, truncated cone, and paraboloid, which is a little bit different. So let's start with the cone just by left clicking. And like most of our primitive shape, it's going to ask me for the base or center point. And again, I'm going to use just the center in my top viewport as an example here. Now I'm just controlling the diameter. And then when I left click, I can continue in the same viewport to, get to control the height or length of my cone. So we'll go to about there. I'm going to hold control right click in my perspective viewport and use the shaded preview so that we can see our cone. Now let's highlight that and press the delete key. The truncated cone is a little bit different. Basically with a truncated cone, again I'm holding the right button just to pan here, with a truncated cone I pick the base, the diameter, then I pick the diameter of the top. The truncated is basically a cone that's been chopped off at the top. So if I put that about there, then again, I'm controlling the length. And left click. So there's a truncated cone. As you can see here, by controlling the length, I actually made my cone offset to a slight angle. And when we create a cone, there are other choices here, vertical, diameter, three-point, tangent, around curve. These are different ways that we can create our cone. A round curve is basically around a curve. A tangent, three-point, diameter, vertical. I can show you some of these, but basically the standard way to create a cone just with the, the cone tool button is going to be fine, which is, again, diameter and then the length or height depending on how you look at it. If I press my cone tool then go up here I can select vertical for example. What that's going to do is keep this in the same viewport in terms of the height which means since I'm looking down at it from the top I can't really control the height in this viewport. I need to move my mouse over to one of my other viewports to get a sort of better idea of what's going on. So we'll delete that. And then just real quickly, if I choose diameter, it's the same as if we were to create a sphere based on diameter. I select the diameter from one side to the other. And then after that, the length of my cone. A cone shape is a poly surface. As you can see, it's one cone shaped surface wrapped around the base, which is a cap. If I press the explode tool here, I can select my base, press the delete key. This leaves an empty sort of cone, or an ice cream cone shape almost. And since this is a single surface, my bending tools, my transform tools, twist, bend, taper, they will work on this type of shape. The point count of this cone shape is so simple that it's actually not going to bend, it's going to more skew. But if I had left the cap on the end of my cone, my transform tools would not work because it would be a polysurface shape.